Brian Treadway out here on Chocolate Bay, giving you fishing tips to make you a better fisherman. During our research through working with Texas Parks and Wildlife Fishery Division and the Sea Center Texas, where they breed a lot of redfish and speckled trout, as they were ramping up the flounder program, they needed live flounder. I was fortunate enough to be involved with them from a volunteer perspective to bring in a lot of live flounder from the local tournaments that we would provide. We would ask the fishermen not to try to extract the hook if it wasn't easily uh, attainable to pull it out of the fish's jaw. If it was buried deep, cut the line. We had a higher survival rate of those fish because they would literally work it loose inside their guts and inside their throats. And about three days after, they would vacuum the bottom of those um, tanks, those holding tanks, the holding pens and they would get all the hooks and leaders off the bottom. Those fish can do a lot better job of getting these hooks out than you can. A little better fish. He didn't like getting stuck. He's close. He's very close to being a very good eater. Look, see that hook way down beneath him? Sacrifice a hook, especially if you don't know it's big enough. That's going to kill the fish if we try to take it out of him. He will get rid of that hook way before we ever will. Safely on his own. Nose. Come look. Come look where it's at. So close. Do they shrink in the box? Well, maybe. I mean, he's literally touching, but we're not that hard up for fish today, Ers. So we'll let this one, this fish will grow between one to three inches during the summer. So why mess with him? He's got the nice hook set, he's not gonna die. Borderline, he'll be fine. The parting splash.